for all my Caucasian people in the stream chat, is this normal? Is this like white guy jokes? Um, am I being a little bit of a prude? Am I being a little bit of a, you know, what you call it? Am I being a bit of a bunch of sticks or something? Or is this perfectly normal? Because this sounds very sus to me. This sounds incredibly sus, but I want my white brethren and my white sisters in the chat to let me know if this is normal, because this sounds very odd to me. Every time we're in a, if, when, when we work out, and I, I always shower, if there's a nice gym shower, I simply I always shower. Yeah. Jay doesn't like to because he doesn't, you know, he's not as comfortable in his skin as me. Yeah. Big old, old dick. Yep. I want everyone to know. He's got a dick. So we'll be in the shower. Like, hey, get the hoggy out. I'm like, shut up. Shut up and have a towel on. I'll rip the towel off. Like, hog alert. And slap his dick. Hog alert. And I purposely, and you can shower other places, but I purposely showered there because I knew these old dudes would be staring at Jay's grand hogoso. Uh -huh. And so we're showering. Grand hogoso. Grand hogoso. Your grand hogoso. <laughs> hog Dude, if you've got a real piece, grand you, hog you get, it's, called a, it's called a grand hogoso. Look how I'm happy that makes Brian. Is that, is that normal? Like playing with your brother's dick as a joke. Maybe when you're kids, there's something, maybe, I don't know, it still sounds odd. But as grown adults, playing with your brother's dick when you're in the gym together, watching your brother showering, then playing with like, what? Is that not weird? Or am I just being a little bit OTT? Or am I blown out of proportion? Maybe the, the only joke that I understand is maybe ripping the towel off. I think we used to do it back in the day, in, you know, in, in PE and stuff, right? When you're doing fucking, I guess maybe you call it sports recreation, maybe in the States, I don't know, but here it's called P, right? Physical education. Maybe that's funny, but like going then the extra mile to touch the person's dick, you might as well just start sucking him off because you, you're just looking for an excuse anyway. You're already testing the waters. You're not too sure which way you sling, you swing. You might as well just get down and just go to go to town, really. You know, fucking pull out the Glock, Glock 3000 and just Glock away. It's called a Hagosa. Hey. Holy shit, that's funny. Jay is shim Hopefully Jay Shab gets his hoggy out in the pool. <laughs> well, listen, he won't. He's it's very. I try dude. to poke at his hoggy, and he won't let. Oh, me. it's thick. It's like an yeah. elephant trunk. Yeah, it's, poke it's at got, it. and it's 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 ashy. It's black. It's ashy. He has a black <laughs> very dark, dark penis. <laughs> the skin on his <laughs> cock is, is <laughs> dark. I'm serious. He never gets it out. No, nah, he never never gets Last it out. Time I, I have it out all the time. Two thousand and one tears like yours. Oh, See ya. Remembering the last time you saw your brother's dick, or the last time you held it in your hands, by the to the year. <sighs> And and his dong, we've talked about this. But I, I got, in this room. I got a real sense room. of what is. I took his dong in. I got a sense. I got a chance to really take my time with it's it. Grand Hagoso. He's got a fucking Hagoso that dwarfs both of ours. Yeah, no, it's, very impressive. It's thick. It's thick. Well, he's the Grand Hagoso, and it hangs with with with. An Imagine being a fan of this podcast and listening to it every single week, and hearing these guys talk about dick so often. I get super self conscious when I'm on my has show right the Agassino Zinger show you can find it available on all podcast platforms I get super self-conscious when I sit there and start rambling about Balenciaga and Bergheim and Nike shoes and this fashion beef and whatnot and this DJ fucking gossip I get self-conscious when I keep because I feel like I've only got like a you know five or six topics that I usually basically recycle and it's like oh but these guys literally verbatim every other episode talk about exactly the same thing some sort of dick joke some sort of fucking human phallus you know male phallus joke that's what is always included it always something to relate to that it's like come on man not every day is fucking penis day intention it hangs with with bad intention okay, that's my brother <gasps> you saw my brother's hog go so oh, i caught him slipping in the shower <laughs> i'm telling you i went brian get out of here you gotta see this thing jay's going no no he's go, trying brian, he's trying quick. he's trying to get his underwear up and i and i <laughs> i run out completely naked of the shower i crane i mongo look at the teeth <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Brendan could probably spare some of that money he used to buy that lime green Dodge, you know, and let fucking Big J Shaw get a Visaline or something, man. Help help a brother out. Instead of flying him all the way to Vegas and stand awkwardly while you buy things. That You know what I was thinking as well? That Brendan standing there, that Brendan inviting his brother to go and just stand and watch him buy things is giving like, do you remember that kid in your school who would invite you to his house before computer games are like online 
and he'd invite you over to come watch him play PlayStation and he was just playing by himself. He only had one controller. That's what it looks like a little bit. I'm thinking about it now. Like, you know, like, hey, come around. I'm playing computer and then it's like, he just plays. You have to just sit there and watch him. Goose my head around. I crane my neck around. And I'm like, eh, yeah, and I see it. And the original say, golden let me, Hagoso. Let me say something about his Hagoso for a second. I just want to say this. Was I lying? If we did an MRI and I saw that it had lungs and an elbow. Some joints. I would there. not be surprised. That thing, that thing was just as giant. Like, I felt like, I, I, maybe I'm exaggerating, but I felt like when I saw it, it went, ooh. It made a noise. It is. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I caught him slipping too. It's like I saw Bigfoot. He came out of that shower and went, Brian, quick. I knew Jay was going to try to get his shorts. He's trying to get him on too. He said, don't be gay, bro. He was giggling and falling went, over. Yeah, he, he tried <laughs> to yank his dress. I went, Brian, get in here. And you came uh, L busting out Dude, shampoo in your ear. I went, sprinting. Sprinting out. Yo. Yep, there it is. And I got I got one, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. And it was gone. Release the Kraken. But they got to remain mysterious. Brilliant video by the homeless cats. Appreciate you, but yeah, that is so bizarre. I don't understand that kind of humor. Like, touching my dick humor. Like, unless you actually want to get me hard, don't touch my dick, you know? Unless you want problems, don't touch me. That's what I'd say to somebody, you know? Like, unless you actually want to get down, <laughs> don't touch me that way. I, don't, I mean, like, what is this? Like, well, what are we doing? What are we doing here? What are we doing here?